hello everyone welcome back to another episode of buy or not products the first product i'm going to start with is i have already spoken about this uh, lipstick in the other video i have never come across a liquid lipsticks that's that is so light and long stay and the color is also very different this is from smashbox and the shade is driver seat it is beautiful i'll link the video here or here you can go ahead and watch it next is it's a foundation in a stick form this is maybelline fit me shine free plus balance foundation combination skin in the shade 334 330 toffee it looks like this you can see i hardly used it and the color is so gray if you're a light skin person then maybe you can use this as a contour so this is how it looks let me show you you see nothing happened there's no difference i can't see any difference but i don't know i felt like it was either some places it was showing too white and some places it was showing like it's become you know darker than my skin i didn't understand this so confusing i just didn't get it so basically i didn't like this for my skin tone this is a recent product that i bought it's a pack eyeshadow brush i already had you know like a um, blending brush to blend out the crease area i tried searching for really good ones something that is dense not something that's very thin it's not going to help if you have like um, very few bristles so this one was decent so like you can see so i really like this brush that's what i'm trying to say <laughs> blends so beautifully and all you have to do is just give a light light touch like this also if you want to know how i did this look then i'll link the video here you can have a look the next one i want to talk about is a show from Amazon Prime called Modern Family. I loved that show a lot. I loved all the characters in that series. And my favorite, favorite, favorite is Cameron Cam. He is so good, so funny, and the way he acts and everything. If you are into family series and comedy, then you must watch it i forgot to put on my mic okay okay the next one i am always looking out for dark chocolates so i was i was looking out for something sugar free something natural so i found these two dark chocolates one is the keto culture sugar free dark chocolate hazelnut 60 percent dark chocolate uh, it is made with organ organic cocoa beans and cocoa butter sourced with a plantation in Wayanad, kerala sweetened with stevia strengthened with raw hormone free lactose free whey protein isolate oh my god i didn't like the um the, the you know the texture of the chocolate once you put it in your mouth it was it was very soapy i would say i don't know how to describe it it, it was not creamy or i don't know i didn't like the texture and then it also had hazelnuts i mean i should have known that but i don't know i didn't like the hazelnut flavor I didn't like it it's still in my fridge and i haven't finished it but this one this one is 70 percent dark chocolate no sugar added stevia belgium cocoa this one was yummy i mean i think my taste is all about 70 percent dark chocolate otherwise it's but still that it's texture of this keto culture i don't know i just didn't like the keto but anyways this one it has unsweetened belgian cocoa cocoa butter stevia extracts erinthritol and oh, i don't know what is erinthritol it was pretty decent and i just loved it so that's that now winter has come and my skin gets very dry i would need a body lotion and not just any body lotions, not the, those liquidy ones and nothing works for my skin. But this one, 
is the Nivea. Like you can see, I just bought a whole 400 ml bottle because I just love it. Because this lasts for a whole for the whole winter or even more. And I have another bottle also, just to spare. Then this one is 48 hour intensive moisture care with deep moisture serum and two times of almond oil for very dry skin. So there are a lot of body lotions in Nivea but if you want if you want this one for very dry skin then look for the 48 hour with almond oil for very dry skin. It lasts all day. Sometimes even if in the middle of the day if you wash your hands, your hands get dry right after you wash but when you apply this it just does not. Let me show you the texture. See how thick it is and that's a lot for this much of an area. It's just so much of moisture. No wonder it says 48 hours because it lasts all day. And it smells amazing. I just love it. And I love when my skin feels soft and not stretchy and white and all. Next is a hair product which I have honestly I haven't used it much. It's almost I've only used it this much. So this is from True Roots Delays Hair graying from the roots botanical hair tonic so what you have to do is you have to spray it all over the scalp and massage your scalp for one to two minutes it says no new grays in 90 days I mean to be honest I haven't used this for 90 days I should have to speak about this more you can't really expect me to apply this every day on my scalp it takes away all that uh, fresh feel it feels like something is in your hair so I just stopped. I mean, maybe if you want to, you know, try it for 90 days, then you will have to deal with the stickiness. So let me show you. This is like a spray. So it's almost watery, like you can see. You'll have to, like, you know, massage it in your scalp, and all. it feels watery. But when when you put it on your hair, and after some time, it's oily. It gets a bit oily. So I just didn't like this. It says it is clinically proven to show no new grays in 90 days. Ayurvedic proprietary medicine. I can't do that to my hair every day. Okay, next. I have brought a change to my skincare routine. If you know uh, about my skincare, I usually use uh, Johnson & Johnson baby oil to take off my makeup. This winter, I don't know, my skin started feeling a bit too oily throughout the day. So I wanted to maybe, you know, stop using that um, baby oil and try a cleansing balm so i tried searching for something that does not have too many chemicals but this is called earth rhythm cleansing balm for refining for blackheads they have i think five of different types of cleansing balm so i was also searching for something which has ahas and bhas so this is a natural fruit acid ahas so Apparently AHAs are good for uh, mature skin and then this is 100% uh, natural. This powerful balm contains AHAs that is naturally de derived to remove dead skin cells and blackheads. Pore refining balm gently cleanses away heavy makeup, sebum from pores, blackheads and dead skin cells caused by dryness. It helps, it keeps the skin moisturized even after washing the face by forming a moisture protective film. Maybe I'll show it how to use this in another video. Let me open it and show you. So it's like a thick balm, you know, like a lip balm. And then it has these little fruit stuff in it. And the smell is also great. I also like the packaging, this tin. I'm glad I did a lot of research and bought that. And then when you have a cleansing balm, when you use a cleansing balm, it's always good to use our face gloves to wipe off all the balm when you use it to remove the makeup. So I bought this uh, gloves from Amazon again. I use only one gloves because uh, I don't want to use both my hands to take off the makeup. So one is in my bathroom and this is a new one. So it's called Second Self. So all you have to do is put your hand like this and just take off all the makeup like this and everything just comes off. There's a difference between doing a double cleansing and 
only a face wash try that and then you will see because what i do is i put this cleansing balm take off all all of it with this gloves and then i wash it with warm water and then i use the face wash when i use the face face wash i feel like i, I can feel my skin you know i can feel there's nothing not no makeup left no dirt left so that is it i think i hope this video helped you if you liked it please subscribe and uh, like it and share it with your friends bye